Imagine being in a large room, surrounded by over 100 people who you can't hear, but you're expected to be able to debate with and work with. Well, that was the situation in 2011, faced by former Green MP Mojo Mathers. She was our country's first profoundly deaf member of parliament, and almost immediately following her election, she ran into problems. After much struggle and a whole lot of negotiation with the Speaker of the House at the time, Mojo got the support of transcribers who could follow discussions and provide live transcriptions to her laptop so she could take part on a more equitable footing. And after years of work by Mojo and others, we now have closed captions on Parliament TV. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. It is a huge struggle for people with complex needs to take part in democracy, both as candidates, but also as voters. Imagine being a candidate in a wheelchair for local government, invited to take part in a debate on the second floor of a building with no elevator. Or being a voter who is deaf or hard of hearing and not being able to listen in to that debate, relying on potential after-the-fact commentary in newspapers. At the moment, to get around this, voters and candidates with disabilities have to spend a lot of time and often money to overcome barriers that other people just don't face. And that really sucks. Siren here is a New Zealand sign language interpreter. Note, that is an official language of this country. She's amazing and I'm super privileged to have the resources to be able to pay her fairly. But I only have those resources because I'm an elected MP. It's really not that straightforward for almost everyone else out there. To me, this goes to the core of what it means to be in a democracy. I think that every New Zealander should have equal access to democracy. And it seems like a no-brainer. I mean, that's what democracy stands for, equal access for all. I've got a members bill in the biscuit tin which aims to make this situation a bit better. The election access fund bill was actually originally drafted by Mojo herself. In short, the bill would establish a fund, looked after by the Electoral Commission and their weird little kind of iconic orange guy. Which could be used by any disabled candidate to cover disability related costs of standing in a general election, like getting an NZSL interpreter for a debate. It could also be accessed by non-profits to make material more accessible, like braille on pamphlets. It'll create provision for political parties to provide full accessibility for all of their members to participate in democratic decision making. And the mind-blowing thing is, the projected cost is just a small drop in the bucket when it comes to the cost of running elections. If this gets pulled out of the biscuit tin lottery on Members Day and everything goes along well, it'll be debated in Parliament, tweaked at select committee and then signed into law. But of course all of that is up to chance, which isn't exactly ideal. Luckily though, there are other ways to get the ball rolling. Today, the amazing people at Deaf Action New Zealand have launched a petition calling for the removal of language barriers to political participation. The basic gist of their petition is to have guarantee of the rights for deaf and hard of hearing voters and candidates to participate fully and fairly in democracy by 2020. That looks like funding for captioning on TV or here on the interwebs, NZSL interpreters like Siren at political debates and more innovative, effective ways to ensure everyone gets a say in how our country is run. New Zealand Sign Language is one of Aotearoa's official languages, so let's start treating it like one and ensure everyone can have their say in our democracy. Get involved by signing the petition in the link above.